I want to ask you now, when do you feel like you got your first break? Like you say, you was just in the UK scene, but when do you feel like you got to that next level? So that would be um, the, uh, the fifth single, which was There's Nothing Like This. That was um, when we decided to write and, uh, make a, uh, release an album. Um, I had four singles previous to that, prior to that, but I've been at school and uh, you know studying and, and things. But this is the one that actually went national and then it went international as well. That's the one which uh, most people know me for is that song. Um, you know, but we, it had been build, building up to that to that moment um, for years, you know, a few years before that. I just felt like it was it was the right time when it when it did hit, you know. It was the last song to be written for TV. The album was the same name. There's nothing like this. And um it just came at the right time. I was listening to um my dad's record collection and he had an album by uh the Ohio players um, called Skin Tight. And I was like, man, and then I played this track called Heaven Must Be Like This. And that track just blew me away. And I was like, why is nobody writing or singing this, this kind of music? You know, because at the time, it was Acid House and it was hip hop. You know, that's all samples and sequences and synthesizers. This is pure organic bass, drums, keys, guitar, string section, vocals. You know what I mean? And um, that's just what inspired me to, to make the song that I did. Okay, okay. Now I wanted to ask you um, a little bit about uh, Talking Loud Records. How did you connect it with them and what was that experience like? Because I was looking at their roster, they had a lot of um, great artists on there and I was looking at the Roots. Um, the Roots from Philadelphia was on Talking yeah. Loud. Did you get to connect yeah. with any of those other artists? Oh, hell yeah. I did the Roots Festival in uh, uh, Atlanta. It was that one of the first festivals I did in the States back in the 90s. Um, talking up with Questlove and those boys, I yeah, love them from time. Um, but they also had Incognito, Young Disciples, um, Galliano. Uh, we were all kind of a movement at that time. Um, and how we got hooked up was that uh, Giles Peterson came to my dad's office and said, like, he heard the music and he thought it'd be a great fit for his label as well. And when I saw the roster and that, you know, Giles Peterson, Norman, uh, Norman J, DJs. It just made sense that uh, we went with it because I knew they knew I could take it national and international. You know, they could take it to the to the next level.